Bosch action, you guys. Today it's from Germany. Bosch. Bosch. Did you know there's a Netflix show called Bosch? I do. Yeah, because it always pops up I know. on my. I always, I, I've and never it's like weird. It, it's like red. It's yeah. It's like in red. I don't know. So I always think like, and even I, we talk to someone at Bosch, and they're like, oh, they always confuse us with that. It's like I want to watch this show, but I don't because I don't like that actor really. I don't even know who it is. I, always just I don't know. Picture. I just he seems like kind of a you know. Dweeb. It, well, no, I'm not gonna say it on this channel. Yeah, okay. Um, you guys, uh, Bosch is known for quality. Of course, everybody knows their quality. Job sites, you go out there, Bosch, SDS, concrete, stuff like that. Saw blades, they last, right? So they've had a 12 volt out for a long, long mm -hmm. time now. <coughs> I kind of think they were one of the first ones to have a 12 volt out because I have a PSI driver. In fact, let me get it. Oh yeah, I remember when uh, you were uh, showing me? It was a long time ago. <coughs> I don't know why I call wow, it. Wow, yeah, how old is that I don't thing? know, but I don't know why I call it a PS driver. It's a I driver, and it says 10.8 volts. But as you can see, man, this was a cool tool. Like all like, uh, see how like this slow? Yeah. Oh, dude, I really like this tool. And then you can adjust the head, huh? Yeah. It was for precision work, man. This was a great tool. It's got a clutch on it. Man, you know what? That's cool. I'm gonna keep this thing up. Now, I don't have any uh, batteries for it though. Yeah, too bad. Yeah, I guess. Only if you knew someone who had some Bosch batteries. I know. I wish. Okay, keep going. <laughs> so, like they were saying, Bosch has had the 12 volts or 10 whatever was those um, out for a while. So they came out. They introduced two new ones. This one's the impact driver. This is PS42. This one comes in a kit. So you get two of uh, the two amp hour batteries. You get the charger. So. It's pretty cool. I like these. I like the Bosch 12 volt along with some of the other ones just because they're compact. Um, so it's more finesse like when you're trying to get in harder spots or hanging cabinets or something like that. You don't always need all the power. Even though these are powerful, you don't always need that. So you don't need the big bulkiness of an 18 volt or something like that. Right. And this is the PS8202, same thing. Kit, impact two batteries, wrench. impact wrench, yeah. three eights. Now, you're not going to use this to be decking in lags, in decks. I mean, we did run the lag, which you're seeing now, but obviously it got slow. A 20 volt, 18 volt tool is gonna ram that thing through. Yeah. No problems. You guys, this is for little small stuff where you do need a lot of power. And the thing I like about Bosch is how compact they are. Yes, very when, compact. When, when Bosch goes 12 volt, they keep it compact. There's other brands out there that have 12 volt, but it's almost the size of a small 20 volt, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, but you know, right here you got, I mean, where are you going to get in that head area? I don't know what it is off the top of my head because we don't do stats here, but that's going to fit into a tight area. You're going to have no problems. Um, and it's still, everybody's shying away from these kinds of packs, except for Milwaukee, I guess. Yeah. Um, but it's not a bad tool. Well, they're nice. The nice thing about the like torpedo batteries, as opposed to the flat pack pancake ones, is if you are getting in tighter spots, you can maneuver it a little do bit more. Do they have more, big XC packs know? too? That's a good, I would think they do, but I don't know offhand if they do or not. Um, as you can see, they do have LED lights on the front, which you can turn on and off with the push button up top. Also, the speed selector is you know, just push the button, high to low. Yeah, so, I like them, man. The only thing I don't like is I feel like their grips are a little fat. I was gonna say, that's what I was going to ask you about. I wouldn't think you would like the grips on these because they're yeah. kind of like the Milwaukee yeah, almost. Yeah, they're fat. I mean, it's weird so, how close to Milwaukee these yeah, things are. Yeah, but I actually like it. I don't know. I like the big trigger. It's really it's really ergonomic, easy to hold, but yeah. I feel like I would just like a, just a little less... Um, as with most manu manufacturers, they don't have the uh, juice battery on there. It's actually on the tool. Makita so. was one of the first to do that, I don't think. Yeah, I think Makita does, Hilti does. I believe Hilti does. Um, I don't know, anyone else has a 12 volts on there. So. Crazy stuff, you guys. Tools in action, three year warranty on all this good stuff. But tell me what you think. Tell Eric what you think down below. Hashtag TIA crew, that's how you win stuff. Comment, that's how you win stuff. We want to start giving a ton of stuff away. In 2030, tools in action. I thought you said 2040. Uh, no, you I moved it up it without up. talking yeah, to me. I think we'll be dead by then. So, what about our company we, meeting? Yeah, remember for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com. <laughs>